I'm back in my BMW Z4 and I'm trying to figure out some uh, issues that I'm having with uh, the way the engine starts. It starts fairly rough um, after it's been sitting for a while and sometimes it doesn't even start at all until second or even third try. Let's see what it looks like after it's been sitting for probably 12 hours. So as you saw there, uh, that, actually this one wasn't that bad, but uh, it still kind of struggled to start. In order to solve this issue, I'm going to calibrate uh, or do a compensation adjustment on the injectors. Let's see how that works. In order to adjust the injector compensation rate, we must know the values of each individual injector. This is the old engine that I took out. Uh, so kind of it's easier to show where uh, these values are located. So normally you'd have a cover on the engine, uh, some insulation and wiring running through here. This one's missing some of the stuff, so it's a little bit easier to see. But as you probably know, these are the injectors. There's four of them. And to get those values, you'd have to look right in there. See if I can, there it is. So 261 on this one. So 243, 265, and then hard to get that one on camera, but I'm sure with a light, you can probably see it. So now what I'm gonna have to do is go to the actual car and check the values that I'm gonna have to program in since the computer from the uh, from the car is back is back basically programmed for this engine and not for the new one that I have in the car now. So after swapping the engine, of course, I did not want to spend you know a few thousand dollars on the computer. So the computer is going to be under here, and there are some in there. Um, let's see if we can get to the numbers and then program them in. I have now recorded the old values from the old engine uh, and in the same order. I'm gonna take a note of the values from this engine and then we're gonna program them in. A little bit more difficult to see on this one since it's uh, in a different angle, but I'm gonna try to use the camera to kind of shine some light on it. Here's the first injector, it's 215. Let me zoom out so you can see where, where that's at. This is the second one, also looks like a 215. Look at that, our third one is also a 215. I'm not kidding. And surprise, surprise, the fourth one is 215 as well. So I guess they put in all the same injectors in, which makes sense. And that does make me wonder how come these were so, so different from each other. That's a huge difference. Uh, and I guess that's why you need to compensate between, you know, when you switch to uh, new uh, injectors. Normally to do something like programming injectors would require a very expensive tool. Uh, usually they start at four to five hundred dollars. But a friend of mine recommended this Autel AP200 Complete Diagnostics Tool. Uh, which should allow us to actually provide new values for the injectors and adjust the comp compensation rate. Uh, this only cost 60 bucks on Amazon. Uh, came in in a day or two, and then you download an app uh, and then a specific diagnosis software for your vehicle. Uh, I will show you exactly how it's done. Let's see how long it's gonna take and if it actually works. I really do hope so, because a local shop told me over $200, $200 to just do this, which so far it's taken me 10 minutes to get the values and I'm hoping another five minutes to program it and 
that's it. I have plugged it in into the OBD2 connector slot and put the car in the on mode. So just in the on position, not started. And now I'm gonna go to the app. Now that we have all the information that we need, we're gonna go to service, then look for uh, the menu that we need, which is the injectors. It will take some time for everything to load. You're gonna click uh, automatic selection, scan for your VIN, so it has the proper information for your car and engine. The scanner will now load all of the system data and all of the modules. This probably takes the longest amount of time. Uh, I think it took two or three minutes. I've sped this up, uh, so this is uh, four times as fast. This tool is really amazing. It can do a lot of stuff. Uh, it is a little slow though, compared to some of my other tools where you can just plug it in uh, with, a, with a cable, uh, but I think it's definitely worth it for the price. Now that everything has loaded, you're gonna click on hot functions you can click on determine the injectors to see what kind of injectors your car actually takes if you are actually replacing them uh, but what we need to do is go to the injector quantity compensation it's going to start loading the modules again specific to what we're actually doing and give you some of the information on what to do next as you can see these numbers are exactly the same numbers that we pulled off the old engine so we know we're in the right menu all right, and it's gonna just ask us if we want to change those values. That is exactly why we're here. So we're gonna click yes, and then uh, enter the values for each cylinder. Now that we are at the correct menu and we can adjust the values, uh, you have to be very careful. You definitely don't wanna put incorrect value and you know flood the cylinder with fuel or something like that. So pay attention, I went a little slow just for that reason. I wanted to read everything, make sure I understood what it was being asked of me and how to properly add the correct values. In my case, it just happened to be that all of the values are the same. I will actually do a little bit of research on this to make sure that's correct, even though I saw the physical number myself on each injector. Uh, if you do have uh, different values for each cylinder absolutely make sure you know which one is cylinder one and which one is cylinder two before you start you know uh, entering and programming these uh, values into the car ecu now that we have all four values entered for all four cylinders we're gonna apply it to the actual computer as you can see it's gonna ask if we want to uh, save the adjustment values. Of course, we're going to click the F2 to confirm. Does this look correct? Yes. And it's going to take a few seconds for it to apply. And as the last step, what I decided to do was to check to make sure the actual values have been written to the computer. So I'm going to take a, one step back in the menu after confirming the steps that it's asking me on the screen and check to see what the uh, adjustment values are at this time after confirming that the values are actually what they're supposed to be that's pretty much all we have to do in this application you can exit out of the app unplug it do whatever you want and ready to get the car started and see if all of this work was for something or for nothing all right so injectors have been calibrated let's see how she runs oh look at that we have a difference. It starts right up. There is no hesitation. It doesn't hang around 500 RPM. Jumps right to the correct RPM and stays there. Sounds very smooth. I think that's a success. Definitely saved a bunch of money with the, a bunch of money with this um, Hotel Maxi AP 200. Uh, so I guess you don't have to spend $400 on the more expensive version and this works. I'm honestly very surprised and very happy about this. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you ever need to do this, get one of these. Don't spend a bunch of money or take it to a mechanic and spend, you know, two, three hundred dollars on something you can do yourself in 15, 20 minutes. Um, like and subscribe. Hopefully it helps somebody. See you guys in the next one.